Mr. President, in a moment, I will call up a resolution to govern the structure of the second impeachment trial of, President, of Donald, John, Don, Donald John Trump. There should now be four hours of argument by the parties equally divided on the question of whether Donald John Trump is subject to the jurisdiction of a court of impeachment for acts committed while President of the United States, notwithstanding the expiration of his term in that office. It's an invitation to the President to take his best shot at anything he may want to do on his way out the door, including using violent means to lock that door, to hang on to the Oval Office at all costs, and to block the peaceful transfer of power. In other words, the January exception is an invitation to our founders' worst nightmare. We will stop the steal. And after this, we're going to walk down, and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take the Capitol. If that's not an impeachable offense, then there is no such thing. What you experienced that day, what we experienced that day, what our country experienced that day, is the framers' worst nightmare come to life. Presidents can't inflame insurrection in their final weeks and then walk away like nothing happened. And yet that is the rule that President Trump asks you to adopt. I urge you, we urge you, to decline his request, to vindicate the Constitution, to let us try this case. So you'll never hear anybody representing former President Trump say anything at all other than what happened on January 6th and the storming and breaching of the Capitol is, should be denounced in the most vigorous terms, nor that those persons responsible should be prosecuted to the fullest extent that our laws allow. They don't need to show you movies to show you that the riot happened here. We will stipulate that it happened, and you know all about it. This is a process fueled irresponsibly by base hatred by these House managers and those who gave them their charge, and they are willing to sacrifice our national character to advance their hatred and their fear that one day they might not be the party in power. Consider this. I want to say this for Donald Trump, who I may well be voting to impeach. Donald Trump has already done a number of things which legitimately raise the question of impeachment. I don't respect this president, and I will fight every day until he is impeached. The impeachment article should be treated as a nullity and dismissed based on the total lack of due process in the House. It should be dismissed because of Speaker Pelosi's intentional abandonment or waiver of jurisdiction, if the House ever acquired jurisdiction. And the article should be dismissed because the trial in the Senate of a private citizen is not permitted. Then the question is whether Donald John Trump is subject to the jurisdiction of a court of impeachment for acts committed while President of the United States, notwithstanding the expiration of his term in that office. The A's are 56, the nays are 44, and pursuant to SRS 47, the Senate having voted in the affirmative on the foregoing question, the Senate shall proceed with the trial as provided under the provisions of that resolution.